In this video, we will have a look at how to make documents more readable by chunking the text in those documents into smaller chunks. Why are chunks so important? Well, making the document um, divided into smaller chunks makes it easier to scan to find particular information, but also it makes it easier to skim it. Many people use um, headings and, and chunks of text as a strategy to quickly jump from bit to bit to get a sense of the overall document. And finally, it will make it visually more approachable, which is basically people will not be faced with walls of text, but they will uh, be uh, faced with a structure that is more inviting and makes it uh, clear that it will be easy to navigate and that they will not have to spend quite as much time on the text as it may appear if there is no structure. Now, how can you add chunks into text? Well, this is very simple. There is no uh, secret to this. You can create more paragraphs, add bullets instead of uh, having lists in a single sentence, and uh, you can also create sections and make sure that they all have clear headings. Now, uh, we will only focus in this video on section headings because that is the one that is the least obvious and that people often avoid. So here is an example of a text uh, that I started with and then simply by inserting headings to different sections, uh, I was able to make it much uh, more uh, approachable and as you can see you can quickly jump from heading to heading and get a sense of what is in the text uh, rather than have it here where you have to uh, read it all the way through um, to um, to get that same sense so, so it just get, makes it a lot easier to read even though the text actually takes up more space on the page and takes up would take up two pages if this was printed uh, it, it still makes it something that is, is a lot easier to approach now, how did I do this in Word? So, of course, uh, the typical way people do, they will just insert the heading and make it bold. But that isn't uh, great for accessibility, for, for example, for blind people who use uh, the, the headings to, to skim the text and navigate the text uh, by a screen reader. And they need to make sure that their, their screen reader knows which parts of the text are headings. And for that, you need to make sure that you mark the uh, bits that are headings as headings in Word. The, the way you can check whether you've done that is by going to view in Word and then opening the navigation pane. And the navigation pane will show you the structure of the text if you have marked it properly. And then you can actually use that navigation pane to navigate your text. So you have this added benefit of uh, being able to do more things with the text. So for example, you can um, promote and, and demote different parts of the structure. You can move things around. You can select things and so on. So, so there are many options you can have with the navigation pane. Now, the way you mark the uh, bits of text so that they appear in the navigation pane and therefore make it accessible to people uh, with visual difficulties, you use uh, the heading styles. These are predefined in Word, and simply all you have to do is click in the paragraph of the heading and then pick the heading one, two, or three, depending on the level. And once you've done that, you'll see that in your navigation pane, uh, the level of the heading will be reflected in that outline of the text. And once you have done that, you have all these other benefits, such as you can create a table of contents with just a few clicks. You can save uh, the text into a PDF, and the PDF will then have uh, these headings as bookmarks, which will make it more navigable. It will create clickable tables of contents, and so on. So there are many, many benefits to doing that and doing it right, spending the time to learn how to do it. And uh, this is something that makes the text both more accessible and then also more accessible to you as an author. In, in terms of navigating and being able to, to, uh, to edit it and so on. You're going to find a lot more about how to use styles in Word and create more accessible documents in Word using um, if, if, uh, one of these Linda courses. Uh, there are many uh, courses on Microsoft Word in, on Linda, and Linda is available to all Oxford University students and uh, staff and faculty as well. So I definitely recommend spending some time on that to learn how to do that in more detail. And there is also a related DigiNo uh, session on how to manage uh, document structure in Word. So thank you very much. And in the next video, we'll have a look at how to uh, make text more accessible by creating text guides.